Hi, I'm Lee at Iridium. I hope you're doing all right today. It's review time, it's EP review time. So a few months ago, I reacted to a track by a band called Black Smoke Trigger. Um, the song was called Caught in the Undertow. Blew me away. Brilliant video, brilliant song. Absolutely loved it. Never got round to listening, so busy in it. Never got round to listening to the EP itself, which consists of seven tracks. Um, and a subscriber or someone watching the Black Smoke Trigger reaction recently um, asked me to do the EP review. Gianni Pelaggi, I think it's pronounced. Um, and he said to me, why don't you do the EP? It's a great EP. I thought, yeah, you know what? I really want to listen to it because I can't, it's frustrating for me. There's so much going on in the music world. Um, sometimes I'll listen to a reaction, but I won't go back. And, but you know, I found myself with a good couple of hours to spare. I thought I'll give it a good listen. So this band, in case you don't know, are from New Zealand. Um, they've only bought this EP out. The band consists of Josh Rasmussen on the vocals, Charlie Wallace on the guitar, Dan Fulton on the bass, and Josh Timaro on the drums. This was produced by Michael Wagner, this EP. So I didn't even know uh, Michael Wagner was still about, to tell you the truth. Um, obviously, in the 80s, he produced some great albums. If it's the same Michael Wagner, I'm sure it is. Um, but this album sounds great. Well, this EP, sorry, sounds absolutely fantastic. He ain't lost his touch in the studio. This band sounds great on this album. If you want to know what this band sounds like, they're more in the sort of more modern genre. So, I mean, on Wiki, it says they're for fans of Audio Slave, Alice in Chains, Guns N' Roses. I don't know about the Guns N' Roses part. I definitely agree with the Audio Slave, Alice in Chains. Um, and I would probably chuck you know, the newer sort of bands like Alter Bridge, Shine Down, those sort of bands, this is, they're great bands, by the way. I love them, and this is what it's in the vein of. So you, what you get is heaviness. You get those sort of modern, soaring choruses, melody all over it, some great choruses all the way through this uh, EP, by the way. It's a great listen. For fans of those bands, this is a dead cert guarantee. You're going to love it. So let's just run through... I've mentioned the guys' names already in the band. Let's just, let's just talk about how fucking good they are. Let's talk about the bassist and the drummer first. So, you know what? In this sort of modern uh, rock stroke metal, you need something that's just pounding. Um, it's tight. The rhythm section across this, this album is brilliant. You've got some great bass work as well, all the way over it. And with Michael Wagner's production, the bass and the drums are just real heavy in the mix which is just how you want it the guitaring is just brilliant it's got those it's really riffy this album there's some great guitar work some great solos all over it but you know a lot of it is about those real cool riffs that you hear and i'll talk about song by song in a minute the vocalist josh rasmussen man he's got some power i love his tone of his voice when he hits a lot of the lower range he sounds fantastic he's got a great tone it's almost like in a few of these songs, he'd be singing at the lower range in a verse and then he'll just reach for the heavens and he just sounds so powerful no matter what range he goes at. So he's got a real, he's a real powerhouse vocalist. Musicians are just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And definitely due an, an album soon. This was the EP, it came out in 2019. I think we're probably ready for an album, guys, if you're listening. So first song is the one i the only one i heard um, before i listened to this uh, ep which is caught in the undertow brilliant single gotta check this out the actual uh, single on uh, youtube guys the video is fantastic um it's got to be seen to be believed it's absolutely brilliant so definitely some um now i mentioned some bands that i think these guys are influenced by um, so I feel some Alice in Chains influence here, especially the sort of that great grimy riffs that there comes in in and out of the track on this one. Powerful soaring vocals, showing that the power and some great sort of subtle moments as well, almost soulful moments, really loads of control over this Josh Rasmussen's voice. Fantastic. I love the way the chorus just soars. It's just so catchy. Absolutely brilliant start to the album, Caught in the Undertow. A brilliant song. You can have it always track two. Yeah. 
This one starts off with a little more on the subtle side and build up to the chorus. Um, it's like a medium pace song. Great tone, like I said, in the lower range, um, in that deeper range for the vocalist. Again, the chorus is so soaring where it's almost like a, he sort of has like a Middle Eastern vocal melody. When he sings the, like the title of the song, you can have it all. He just sounds brilliant. Great stuff, guys. The Way I'm Wired is next, another medium pace song. This is a great song. Sort of a brilliant, unusual guitar melody starts this one off, and then into a busy, heavy guitar riff in the verses. And then we, before we know it, we're into a brilliant, modern, melodic metal chorus again. That cool, sort of strange guitar melody comes back in and out. And I was thinking, there's some of the influences this, the band actually said they've got. I think they said they've got, um, you can hear some audio slave influences there, and that's mainly from the, um, the sort of strange sort of trickery on the guitar. Reminds me of Tom Morello a little bit. Um, this one has a very cool hard rock groove throughout. Brilliant song. Only Human is next. I can feel the Alice in Chains influence a bit more here. Some great chugging riffs and some slightly, slightly bluesy edge, but always in the hard rock and metal groove. Need I say, a great chorus that just works 100%. Great solo, keeping in the feel of that slightly bluesy edge as well. Paint the World on Fire is the next track. This is a faster track. Um, energy ramped up to the max with a fast chuggy groove. It's sort of energized by the band, sort of changing key, getting higher and higher, leading up to the chorus. Reminds me a little bit of um, Rusty Cage, the Soundgarden song as well, this one. A little bit, that sort of, that riff going over. Just a fast chuggy sort of feel of the song as well with the brilliant vocals, obviously. Great frenetic guitar section before another brilliant solo. High or Low is next. Um, I love the heavy riff in here in the verses with those powerful vocals before hitting yet another soaring chorus. I mean, I've mentioned a chorus on every single one of these songs. What do you want when you listen to a heavy rock band, metal band? You want a great chorus. It's what you get all the way through this, guys. Um, good use of the backing vocals here to emphasize that chorus as well. I mean, they're not like harmonizing backing vocals as it was in the 80s. This is a more of a modern band, but they use them to great effect. Blindfold and Rattlesnakes is the last song on the EP. Um, we end with a fast rocker that is really sort of like almost a riff fest. Again, those vocals at the lower range are absolutely fantastic. And then when he gets into that higher range, he just sounds brilliant as well. Very catchy, whoa, whoa chorus that is sort of slowed down compared to the verses. So it has a great effect where it almost sort of half speed chorus. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Love Blindfold and Rattlesnakes. This is a great EP, guys. I know it's a bit older now. I usually like to cover more of the, um, if I cover newer band, it's usually the, the releases that are here and now. But this is well worth checking out, guys. It's never too late to check this, this band out. And I reckon they've got some new music coming. It's about time. So, real recommend. This EP is great. Get this one. This is Black Smoke Trigger. Set it off EP. Highly guaranteed, guys. If you like all them bands I mentioned already, you know, your Auto Bridge, your Shine Down, your Audio Slave, Alice in Chains. This is guaranteed to fulfill all the fans of those bands wants. They really, it really is. Get this, guys. I'll see you next time.